this is Venus here. This is Venus here. You know, come to think of it, we don't really talk about Venus much. I have covered this whole Venus story for a while now. And I basically predicted this. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Venus kind of looks a whole lot like Earth. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... <laughs> Okay, honestly, I don't even know what to say anymore. Uh-oh, they're coming to get me. Stop that man from talking about Venus. I ain't crazy. I'm sciencing for sure. I make an amazing scientific discovery about Venus. Ladies and gentlemen, Venus was blue. This photo was taken by Sedeg, Sedeg Gomez then on April 6th, 2015 at Iran. Wait, dude, I think you meant in, but I could be wrong. Let's just go with Spanish and say, De Iran, Terran, rode the hen. And so, an amateur astronomer turned out one of the most spectacular images of the planet Venus I've ever seen. And I would like to remind you, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know just how much I love you. Please don't take my blue Venus away. Rock and roll. So ladies and gentlemen, disclosure means many things. Let's go down to Segda Gomezete and his comments about this blue planet. Pretty much Earth-sized, pretty much next to Earth, pretty much in the habitable zone. Shall we? It's funny. Dwarf planet planetoid Ceres. They were like, it has more fresh water than Earth. And I got excited. And then we look at it and I'm like, hey, that looks like the moon, which has no water. Except for droplets frozen in the bottom of their craters. This looks like it's covered in water. On Venus, Venus looks like it's covered in water. Now Ceres, which was supposed to be covered in water, looks like it's covered in nothing. Rock. Just a rock, boring, dumb rock, and two white lights. How do you even have an ice volcano, man? That don't make no damn sense. So, and how do rocks crushing together form a molten core? That don't make no damn sense either. So disclosure means many things. Right here, it means Venus was blue. And we're going to look at his comments. Comments are, on April 6th, the Venus was a little blue. Way, I don't conwa. On April 6th, the Venus was little blue. Why? I don't know. That would be my translation. And I think I know. They said there's a good reason they don't talk about Venus much. <laughs> I'm not sure they're telling us what it is. You know? Man. I'll tell you, I'm pretty good at this astronomy stuff. You know what I'm saying? If that one you kisses from beautiful ladies, my face would be covered in lipstick. You know, I'm like, Lipstick on your face kisses. Whatever. Stupid 2015. There you go. Venus was blue. Tying this all into it. Part one in my series. Red, white, black, and blue. The American week that was red, white, black, and blue. Venus was blue. Washington was black. As in power outage. Like the White House, the Pentagon, the Department of Defense, the Capitol, and the... Houston cheerleading squad was red, white, and blue, and black, and smiling. And they put a smile on my face. For that, I'm thankful. I'll get more on that in the next video. Who knows, maybe the Houston Texan cheerleaders turned Venus blue. Blue is my favorite color. Like my samurai robes are all silver, white, and blue, you know? So, good times, bad signs. Bad times and good signs. It's all relative, but relative to what? All I know is relative to Venus was blue, and that's not what they've always told us. Q, scientific answers, telling us why this is normal and totally expected. Dazzle me, Dazza. <laughs> Astromut to the rescue. Da da da. Venus was blue. I said, come here, let me show you what to do.
She said, I don't need any old man explaining Earth. What? Okay. Venus Blue. They don't really talk about Venus much. But that's the theme. Venus makes me want to party. What does Venus make you want to do? Hey girl, you're in my super rotation. Is that cool with you, Venus? Great news. We are talking about a swirling vortex at Venus's South Pole. Let me tell you why it's exciting. We don't know shit about Venus, man. She is a total mystery. Hidden is her history. Even though it's almost the exact same size as Earth, and it's right next to Earth, we don't know much about her. Due to male-dominated science's war on women, they like to tell people, oh, it's covered in horrible stuff that kills everybody. We can't even send probes or landers there because Venus kills the probe or the lander. Maybe that's true, but it just means science is misogynist. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I made that up. I should have mixed stuff up because the really serious people who don't have a sense of humor and in place of that have a stick up their butt, they will get mad, down thumbs the video, and walk away angry. We don't want to offend them.